everyone welcome back to my channel um so today i'm gonna be an unboxing um it's not a handbag um because i feel like the one that i wanted was the saint laurent and they didn't have it so i only got this from louis vuitton i did go to san francisco on a business trip but um it was my first time there and i heard that they had um some livermore outlets down at livermore california and they were like luxury outlets so i thought i would go check them out and i did but honestly i didn't find anything that i liked they do have good discounts on certain pieces but they're not the pieces that are popular or or they have like for example they had a a saint laurent lulu mini lulu but it was like in an orange um like neon color and i wasn't gonna just buy it just to have a lulu so um i did want to go to the saint laurent store in, in san francisco but i did run out of time because they do close very early so if i go next time then i will probably go earlier so I did go to the uh, Louis Vuitton store in, I think it's called Union Square. And I'm just going to say like the girl that, um, the essay that took care of me was like so nice. I think it was a nice experience I've ever had in any luxury store. Well, I would say the Gucci one was pretty nice too. Um, but... I did go there and I wanted to get my luggage tag hot stamped and for some reason I thought that um, San Francisco had like a golden golden gate or golden bridge um, like hot stamp and they didn't have anything so I was really really sad but um, I did get a hot stamped with my initial and I just got my first name um, but it's in my speedy, so I'm not going to show you guys that. So, um, so this is what I got. Um, if you guys already bought this, you probably know the packaging it comes in. Um, and I am going to say that I already opened it. Um, and I just put it back on. I didn't put it as nice, but it comes with this little, um, little bag and then it does come with the sticky part so it doesn't come out oh, no. and I got the perfume from Louis Vuitton and I did get the spell on you I did want a Louis Vuitton uh, perfume but I didn't like i don't have a louis vuitton store where i live so i would have to go well i don't really have to i have to go through the notes of the website and i was just not gonna do that so i just waited there and waited to go to a store and actually smell them so i did smell this one and this one was honestly like the only one that i really liked um i do prefer uh like floral fruity florals that's my absolute favorite type of scent. And I thought this one was fruity floral. But I was looking at the Louis Vuitton website um, right now. And it looks like it's just a floral um, type of fragrance. But um, it is a spell on you. And she did give me two sample, two sample perfumes. Because I, I wasn't going to buy it initially. But then she said that it wasn't in stock online and i was like you know what i'll just take it so then it comes in this little cute box um this is kind of like um cardboard and then you twist it and then it comes out and ba bam and then here it is it's so cute it is a glass bottle and I haven't tried it on because I am right now very sensitive to smell. Um, so I'm going to wait for it to not be so ridiculous on me. But I can't wait to try it on. 
and so yeah I, I looked at the other ones I smelled them I didn't like them so I so this one was the one that I really liked um and then my fiance liked the one um for men that's called I forgot it's something with a with an eye but she didn't have any <clears throat> in stock and she didn't have any um like samples so that sucked but i was able to get mine and i'm just gonna put it there i don't want it to fall and break um the key notes on the website it says it's um iris rose jasmine um i don't know how to pronounce that um acacia acacia i'm i'm mexican so i said acacia and musk um that is the keynotes on the website right now it is in stock but whatever i already got it in store and i would say it's like very very like floral and i actually loved it um the essay that was there actually showed me one which i didn't get the name of but it had like chocolate it was chocolate with I'm gonna say with orange or something like that but it was actually pretty good it was actually like something different not something that you often see <clears throat> well smell so I mean if I wouldn't have gotten this one I would probably have gotten the other one so that one was pretty nice but honestly I don't remember the name of it yeah I don't know which one it was um but yeah and then my fiance was really picky he didn't he only liked one and that was it and i don't remember the name i'm trying to look for it on my laptop but um he said that the other one smelled like for some like older men type of deal so he only liked no, I can't find it. Mm. Oh well. I didn't find it. <clears throat> but I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one is the newest smell. I think this one is the newest one. To be honest, I don't know. But I think. Um... So that's pretty nice. And yeah, I guess this is it for my unboxing of a, the Spell on You perfume. Um, if you have any questions, if you do buy it online, um, I believe that they send you the perfume. And then they send you um, a sample so that you can use the sample. And then if you don't like it, then you can return it. Because when you when you open this up, well, I opened it before. Oh my god, I sneezed. I'm sorry. Um, so when you open it before, well, you I opened it before, but um, when you get it, there's like a seal right here, and if this seal is broken, then they will not be able to return it. Um, so yeah, they give you a little sample before you actually open it and then you can't return it anymore. So that's pretty nice that they give you a little sample. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to say other than I really like the smell. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And yes, have a good day.